welcome to another episode of the Shifty Key Podcast. I am Luis, aka Sparring Slot, and today we have TJ, Me. Uh, <laughs> and, and Gav. I'm Gav. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I'm Tyler. Jesus Christ, that was the quickest <laughs> intro I have ever seen. <laughs> Gav, quick on the draw. Get the shit out of me. <laughs> yes. She's like, move, bitches, I'm second in. <laughs> this is why we need to plan out who goes in what order before the podcast. Otherwise, there's it's either going to be an extremely long, awkward silence while everybody's like, do I go, do I go, do I go? Or it's just going to be two people yelling, oh, and it's me at the same time. I think that one, nah. went, um, kind of, that one went smooth, actually. Like, both you kind of got it... <laughs> So it is the same exact time. <laughs> Especially because now I know that Gav won't try to kill me while I'm sleeping. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's, That's just what me. I'm wondering. Have you done anything that would make me want to draw blood, Louise? Yeah, I don't know, Gav. Have I? You tell me. Maybe. I'll leave you in suspense. Um, sounds like the words that somebody who's hiding something would say for sure, Louise. Yes. You hiding something that we don't no. know? No. No. Am the I? Nose knows. I don't know. The nose knows, Luis. The nose knows. Well, I mean, if it's big enough, it could probably fit a brain on the nose, so it could Gavin. know something. Yeah, maybe Gavin. <laughs> hey, I like so, Gavin, but he does yeah, have Gavin's a cool. big nose. Mind yes. you, I can't talk really. Um, I don't know how many people have actually seen my nose, but um, it's quite big. <laughs> Not Gavin Big, but not Michael Small. <laughs> Gavin <laughs> Big is a category now. <laughs> so how big is my nose? Uh, you know, there's like five centimeters, ten, and so, there's Gavin. So yeah, my nose is Gavin. somewhere between uh, Gavin and Voldemort. <laughs> okay, so it's like everyone else, <laughs> half a Gavin. <laughs> Are we just? Well, wait. Voldemort before transforming or after? Uh, hmm. that's like Snake question. Voldemort, Snakeamort, <laughs> Snakeamort. Yeah, Snakeamort sure, sounds like a shit rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to somehow manage to name my nephew Snakeamort. Not my child, of course, because I wouldn't do that to my child. But my nephew, pff, sure, why not? Snake you go up to your uncle. Name him Snakeamort. <laughs> Hold a gun to his head while he, like, after, right after his wife gives birth. Just drag him into the other room while he's still holding his baby. And just hold a gun to his head and be like, you better put Snake Amor on that fucking birth certificate. Oh, it's actually, I, I have a sister, so. Should, uh, be too, should be too busy with the put doctor. Put the gun so to I, her head. <laughs> should be too busy with the doctor so I can just name the child whatever I want. <laughs> The swap in uh, like a fake certificate, like last second with Snake and Walt written on there, where you hide the other one. But what if they were gonna name your? What if they were gonna name the baby Luis? Would you still change it? Of name course. It after you. Oh. God. Can you imagine like two Luises on the same family and like clothes? You yeah. Know? Yeah. Okay. What if they were going to name him Louis? <laughs> With the O U I S. <laughs> well, then, uh, considering it will be on um, Brazil, well, if it's on, I, I don't know what's the future going to be like, but then he would probably get picked on a lot. That poor bastard. Poor is that so, really a thing? Yeah. Your name what? is too white. We're going to pick on you. No, not because of that. <laughs> it's because it sounds like. Uh, it seems more like a feminine name uh, for us here. I don't know, for some reason. Maybe because of Lois oh. Lane. Fuck it. I, I You're thinking of Lois. No yeah, well. But, you know, I think Snake Mart is still a good idea. I might actually convince my sister to do that. I feel like that would take a lot of convincing. Maybe and a lot of money. Uh, well, it is either that or... Maybe the guy from Inception... <laughs> attack oh. her dreams. <laughs> yeah, probably. I Either mean, way, you need a scheme. 
and we will help you, sir. <laughs> yes, I need some. I need some help, and I'm going to need two pirates, a uh, rope, and the Death Star. I mean, the, uh, don't yeah, forget Leonardo Death DiCaprio. Star. Oh yeah, of course. There's something but we can talk about. You know what? Maybe if I promise an Oscar to him, he might accept. <laughs> I feel so <laughs> bad for him. Get an Oscar again. I feel I so damn bad for him. He totally deserved it. Uh, I, just, I don't know. Oh. If any, he have any deserved of you... it several times before too. This yeah. time, I didn't even hear the other film, and I was just like, "Well, not the, uh, the other film, the actor, the." Film was yeah yeah blah but you know I got my words mixed up there but uh, I didn't Dallas hear the film he was something. in Dallas Owners Club I think uh, it was or something yeah some shit like that uh, <laughs> I've seen the trailer it seems like a good movie to be honest but still uh, come on Leo deserved it I don't know if you yeah. guys saw uh, Wolf of Wall Street have you yeah Any I saw of you? it I have I have on yet the to top see of it. my it's on the top of my to watch list, straight so, under The Great Gatsby. I'm pretty behind on that. movies. Oh, you should watch The Great Gatsby. It's a great movie. So I'm not going to spoil it, but there is one particular scene in which he takes a, a medicine uh, mm. that is spoiled, and it's fucking hilarious. It's like he deserved an Oscar just because of that scene. Is it and, like you know, a? The whole, the rest, uh, yeah. Is it like a, like a hallucination almost because it's a spoiled uh, medicine? Well. Yeah, it's basically they take expired drugs in a heavy quantity, wonder oh why it wasn't kicking in, so they took more, and then it made them react later. <laughs> yeah, and it kicked in real good later. <laughs> wow. What drug? What was so, the drug? Oh, uh, I can't remember the name. Lemon or something, wasn't it? Lemon? <laughs> I can't remember. He took too much yeah. lemonade. No, 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 he no, gave no, those kids, like... Five dollars worth of fifty cent lemonade. <laughs> and he got high, so I fucking think, high. I think it was something like it was a common name, or it seemed like a common name, like lemon or whatever. But it wasn't LSD? written. LSD. Uh, no, it wasn't spelled just like the the average word. Probably some shit with like two M's or two N's. So, so that was a great scene. Night. Yeah. Is, sure, is that how you're describing so. the drug to me? Mm, mm, night. You know what? Just watch the podcast after after we release, and then okay. you'll see on the link. Though, probably, I'm not promising anything. He'll find like the act. Well, actually, no. What would the movie clip be available? Do you reckon, or is it too soon? Uh, when did the movie come out? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I think I watched it last year. To be honest, oh no, wait, it was this year. January, I guess. Anybody uh, want to play Jack and go to IMDb? <laughs> nah. My well, you know, I think explode. you can find it on places uh, by now. You know, places. Not that we can do that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, now that we can do it. But it's the internet. You know that everything uh, is everywhere all the time. Yeah. And by the... places, I mean places with rule 34. We're not talking about the same thing anymore, are we? No. <laughs> Speaking oh, of Rule shit. 34, I started playing uh, I started playing uh, Knights of the Old Republic again, like replaying it on my computer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is where you lose me. Cause, uh, it's, oh, well, it's because can't. <laughs> it's kind of I... like an inner joke I have with TJ uh, about... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> finding somewhere on the internet a rule 34 that involves Kraya and Mira. Kraya is this old... Uh, that's gonna sound so fucking creepy. It makes sense <laughs> in the context. Uh, Kraya is this old Jedi... Well, yeah, kind of like a Jedi master. And Mira is like a, a bounty hunter. She is... I don't know, she's probably in her mid-twenties or something. And so it yeah, she's hot. Mira, and not so Kraya. we jokingly, yeah, Mira. Well, I mean, if you if you're into really really old chicks, you know, maybe you could like Cray. I don't fucking know. Oh god, it's weird. Well, I mean, Cray uh, does kind of go after like the main character kind of early, so she could be like a whole cougar thing going on. Never know. <laughs> no, TJ. No, <laughs> I've never seen never her know. with those eyes. <laughs> what eyes? 
despite the jokes, I've never seen her with lustful eyes. That's what I meant. Oh. You sick bastard. I'm She's just trying to keep to things interesting. She's great grandmother. <laughs> That's what makes it an exciting relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not going to judge. <laughs> I mean, most people, when you, like, walk down a staircase, it's just going to be like a normal walk. With her, I mean, she could, like, step on her ankle badly and it could just snap. And then you got to no. go to the hospital and it turns, no. like, a 20-second event into an hour-long pastime. No, she Fun just for the whole that family. chair that goes down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and it, well, consider yourself in a public place. How are you, are you just going to have like a portable stairmaster that comes out and slides you down like the park <laughs> steps? I mean, you could totally try, but it would take a fucking <laughs> lifetime to set up every single time. <laughs> oh, dearie, can you please set this up for me? I can't get to the bottom of the stairs. Half an hour later. Wow, that's a great impression, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> She would probably smack you around like a bitch for not doing it. Because she's that kind of uh, master. I don't think... Uh, go on. I don't think that was really supposed... To, that, that wasn't exactly my cray impression as it was the general granny impression. Irish granny. Sort of. <laughs> Irish granny. I did not see a single difference from <laughs> the average granny. I guess, oh, I guess okay. once you get old, all old people have the same accent. Hey, that's uh, racist. <laughs> that's what I'm Ages. here for. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about your reputation. <laughs> oh, poor TJ. He's so misunderstood. I mean, anyway. what? Why am I siding on the racist side? It's what? not. Why racist, are you siding on prejudiced. the really, really old cougar side? <laughs> yeah. I never even said but, I liked old people. I was I was playing devil's advocate for cougars. <laughs> you live the devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> well then, uh, let's try to steer away from the granny conversation. Yeah. And uh, speaking of games, I started playing Loadout this week. And it's a very fun game. It's really good. Have any of you played it? Which no. one is Loadout again? Uh, it's the one Rooster Teeth made a trailer for. Oh, no, wait, it's kicked into gear. Yeah, I remember that one now. Oh, sorry. My mind went blank and I was like, load out? What? Are you talking about Team Fortress 2 or something? And, uh, my head was just gone. <laughs> Way to go, Tyler. Yeah, I'm a new. Just ruin well, the segue for everybody. Well, I've never played yeah. Team Fortress, but. Uh, so, I don't know. But it's I'm sure fun. it's not related. So, if you guys get it, let me know, and then we can play. Or not. Wait, did you say you've never played Team Fortress? Yes, I did say that. It's free. Why you not play it? Because I have no one else to play Team Fortress with. Not that I have anyone to play Loadout to begin with, but it's just that Loadout seemed more appealing to me than Team Fortress. Well, I Loadout don't really have a good reason for not Wait, playing Team Fortress. Loadout is free, but it's for Windows only, so... I can't play it, but oh, I have Team right. Fortress you, too, you have Mike. and I could play that with you, but, you know, it's not my fault. You don't want to hit me up anytime, hang out, like the yeah, old it's days. It's not like you two don't ever talk. Uh, Amy, well, what? <laughs> back in the old days, I, I had more time during the week. <laughs> oh, I know that, Phil. <laughs> back Man, in the old days, like, I had less time during the week. See, we're we're not meeting each other. We, we need to we're just drifting apart. Meet it halfway. And yeah. <laughs> Man, but seriously, uh, this semester, my schedule is apeshit. It's like I have things going on 24-7. But, you know, I, I'm still working on finding more time to hang out on TeamSpeak during the week, especially. Because I really do miss it. Damn, I miss it. Mm. Yeah. I like how back in the old days is seven months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Back in them good old days, like in 2013. But you know what? We're going to bring that shit back. It feels like it was was only last year. It was only last year. Well, fuck. (laughs) But anyway, so... That's how I talk uh, to myself, by the way. We we brought... (laughs) (laughs) 
we've brought Uvu back, kinda. So you know, that's a thing. Mm. Once. Yeah, but I say like the only time I used it was after our podcast, well, and then I've just not been on after there again. That, yeah, after that I traveled, so I couldn't count on uh. the internet. But you know, there's still this weekend. Ah, uh, wink, wink. Yeah, uh, this weekend I'm a little busy, but maybe. Hey, Tyler. Uh huh. Screw you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Okay, you're forgiven. I was not. Jerk. Elf. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Gaff. No. Gaff. Dude. What? Bro. Gaff scares bro. me when she's like this. He's, what, he's talking? Totally not forgiven. He's talking. She, it's not when she's talking. It's when she says gullible. bad things about me. Gullible. 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 <laughs> I, I'm not a gullible guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him and his guitar. Oh, wow. <laughs> It seems recently she gets louder <laughs> when she's yelling at me. Wait, do you have, do you have any problems with the guitars? <laughs> no, it just kind why, of. Why you? I am Why is it on Tyler? <laughs> well no. then, uh, you it's know just what? Maybe that's. <laughs> it's just like it's just all the it time, so, so we can use it. <laughs> it's close, and that should suffice. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? That's pretty much because we we don't trust Tyler because he tried to to kill us. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but besides that, With the noise. Um, what else did I really do? Oh, that. yeah. Well, <laughs> in the wrong place was, at the wrong time. Oh, it was a this toy could be knife. Referring to a lot of things, but... Gav. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, the double life guy. Oh, God. I wish I'm I had a double sure, life. I'm pretty sure that uh, Tyler is like his, I don't know, criminal nickname. And after we talk to him on TeamSpeak and stuff, he just na changes his name to like, uh, I don't know, Keith. Thomas. Or, yeah, <laughs> Why Thomas. Thomas. Why I, I on earth keep... did you say Thomas? That's my brother's <laughs> name. <laughs> keep That's Thomas. my name. And uh, and then he, I don't know, he sells. Uh, come on, help me. Soap, like Drugs. in Fight Club. Yeah, like you sell uh, soap to pigs, but it's like drugged soap. So pigs eat it, and then they have like acid trips. I feel so like this you, is, and you do this because you're evil, and that—I mean, you're an evil persona. But but I'm not evil. I almost feel like you're. That's what Tyler like, says. Doing a Keith sort of spin-off of. Have you guys ever seen the movie Snatch? Yes. Uh, <laughs> a long, long time ago. Barely remember I'm that. Just wondering because there was like a whole like monologue in the middle of the movie where. Uh, the crazy like British gangster guy goes on this spiel about uh how to dispo correctly dispose of a body with a pig farm and how they like, go through bone like butter. Yeah, that line. <laughs> yeah. See, that's Tyler. I mean it oh, was no, based I mean... on Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, Tyler, we we'll forgive you. When when you said um earlier you were like, Oh, I bet Tyler has some kind of double life. I do. Recently, it's been Tyler in the present and future Tyler. Tyler in the present is ill and has been pushing most of his schedule aside to try and get better, which is recently happening. And now, oh. as a result, I'm becoming future Tyler and my schedule has been torn to shit. And all of my exams, well, three of my exams, are next week. Um, it's not really a great time. But I have been preparing, rehearsing, practicing for all of them. But my future Tyler self is exhausted thanks to past Tyler. Lazy fucking sod. It had to get ill. Twat. Hate him. You know what? I think I prefer a bizarre world, Tyler, because he plays bagpipes and he's places <laughs> on farts. Oh, 
you would have to be a bit more opposite than that. I'm quarter Scottish, so you could go a bit more far out. Okay, so you so does our world Tyler uh, play? Well, he doesn't play shit. Maybe if he's uh-huh. play, but <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm not entirely sure what we're talking about anymore. Bizarre world, Tyler. <laughs> I was I was actually gonna ask you, Tyler. Um, you said you have you're having uh, exams coming up. How close are you to mm-hmm. the end of your semester? Um, the end of this term is coming up. Well, I've only got one more week until I have like a three week break, and then after that, I've got one more term, which is ten weeks long. And that's the second year of my uni sorted. Um, so by the time this podcast comes out, I'll be incredibly tired. I would have gone through all those exams, probably successfully, most definitely failing one. Uh, uh, well, actually, I hope not. I have, I've been spending so much time preparing for that particular one. Um, and I might possibly be back in my hometown by the time this podcast gets out. I'm not quite sure. So it's going to be weird. So future Tyler will be chilling out, maxing, relaxing, and cooling, and shooting some people outside of the school. Probably not shooting some people outside of the school. Probably okay. sleeping in my study and waiting for the day to pass. <laughs> so, so you only get a couple like of guys a... that were up to no good then. Ah. <laughs> 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 you only get like a three-week break, and then you're on to your next term. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That seems oh, excessive. It's only a 10 week term. If you want and to then talk I get a few excessive. months off. I'm going to be like. How do you divide up school at your university? Oh, um, my uni years are split up with three different terms. So I'm in my second one now. Um, it's literally just ending. Then I've got one more left, and then I will be moving on to finishing my year. And Gaff, yes, I know I said free. <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> I, I, I cannot. This, this suddenly just become speech therapy, speech therapy class for Tyler because he really needs it. Ah. <sighs> oh. Just silently <laughs> laughing to herself. Sorry. Yeah, for, to explain, uh, Gaff used the text box down there, the little chat box thing, to say free with an F when I said the number free because I struggled to say the differences between the two because I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so I didn't pay nice. attention to what you said, Tyler, but I'll listen to it again because that's <laughs> actually something. F- no, come on. <laughs> It's actually some info I'd like to have because here we split it on two semesters a year and it's like I have just started mine and my break will start on July and I'll have four weeks off and then it's all over again. I mean, if my other plans don't work, but I think they will. More details to be revealed, people. I'm not going to spoil anything yet. (laughs) Well, <laughs> spoiler alert. Well, I let's have, just uh... say that let's just say that I kind of have plans to, you know, disturb you all in person. I mean, not you all, but some of you. Yay! Ooh. Wait, how, how would you get over here? You know, in the UK. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know, but <laughs> not revealing it. He's so going what? to sell his way across the Atlantic Ocean. Hey, 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 come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I, I no longer do these things. Uh, <laughs> I'm now, like, I, I worked on my own for a while, like, you know. But one thing I learned from that life, to keep my pimp hands strong. Wow. <laughs> I never thought the term solo career could stand for so much. Oh, yes, it can. Well, that... Well, no, never mind. I'm not going to make that joke. It's too dirty. Uh, Even for my standards. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to know what your standards are now, because I know how random uh, you can get in podcasts. 
So where do you <laughs> draw the line in that brain? No, it's well, because uh, it wasn't going to be that funny and it was going to be really dirty, so I'm not going to do it. Let's just leave that alone. I'm honestly okay. not entirely sure where the line is on this podcast since I kind of got a little offensive last week with the whole Jew thing. <laughs> oh, so bring yeah. back up then. This is a completely non offensive podcast unless we've already offended you. Well done. We've already, already done it. Yeah. Well, uh, just to explain to anyone from the audience who might be uh, starting to listen to the podcast from here, uh, last week, don't, TJ... Don't start from what? here. Start from the beginning. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Just, but... just get TJ in a good, clean mind, you know, point of view, and then... Why? They're going to fuck it up on, on the, the last episode, so, you know... <laughs> so uh did you just made some jokes it, they weren't that offensive i guess but you know it was all he meant well did he? that's <laughs> that's how i feel people think of all my jokes it's like oh it wasn't that offensive they they think this afterwards but then at the time they're all like glaring at me and giving me dirty looks <laughs> like whoa, i can whoa, whoa, whoa. i can hear your dirty looks through the screen I when i make define... terrible jokes like that Define dirty looks. Actually, when I was on the old Shifty Keys podcast, uh, episode six, was it? I, yes. I felt that a lot. Like every time TJ said something, there was this mutual silence for a little while, almost like they were all <laughs> turning and looking at TJ and being like, TJ, how could you say that to a British person? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, that might be, well, from my part, uh, I remember, I know what you're talking about. I remember some of those yeah. moments, but sometimes it was because I was laughing to myself <laughs> and not yeah. hitting the button to talk. <laughs> yeah, there was this awkward silence every now and then. It was priceless. I felt sorry for you, though, TJ. No, no. You just describe 90% of my conversations with other people. I say something, there's an awkward silence. Somebody else says something, everybody starts talking. And don't forget the dirty looks you just mentioned, which I'm so dirty curious to understand what you mean by that. Is it like dirty looks, you fuck, or dirty looks like, hey. <laughs> dirty hey. looks is in slightly kinky looks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think oh. people give me uh, kinky looks when I say something about Jubaka. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Unless you're into that wow. kind of thing, Luis. No, sir. Thank you. TJ, don't worry. One day you'll find someone that's sexually involved with that kind of thought process. Chewbacca and everything about it. Me. And it's Gaff. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> we got this podcast Someday going being today. before this. <laughs> well, uh... Honest- uh, in all honesty, I don't think anybody thinks like I do. Like, I am very weird thinking. Where are we unique? We all say that, but then it's like, if all of our thoughts were put together in one room, we'd be saying the same thing. Yeah, it would It's how it you be, it. Like, I don't know if it would be hot or scary as fuck. Or maybe the both. Both? Yeah. Hot and scary. Hold on, I, I need to write some fanfiction now, excuse me. <laughs> Are you going to be like, uh, uh, it was Bur- Bob's Burgers? I don't know. You, Tyler and me? Luis may not have seen this because this is an American show. But have you seen uh-huh. it, Gaff? Bob's Burgers? Absolutely. Great show. I think they showed, uh, they showed it on Nickelodeon here. I, I think I grasped. Uh, a piece of an episode, but you know nothing further than that. Well, I haven't seen too much of it, but the whole fan fiction thing reminded me. There was this one episode where the chef's daughter uh was like was writing or I don't know was writing friend fiction, saucy friend fiction. Oh. Friend fiction. <laughs> Dear God. I cannot imagine some of the shitty friend fiction things we could make about each other. <laughs> Especially like that, between you and the Shifty Keys podcast. I feel like that should be a challenge of ours. To have somebody from the audience write a friend fiction 
or one of us write a friend fiction? A saucy one. A saucy Ooh, one. Oh, God. <laughs> well, uh, it, couldn't it just exactly. be a friendly one? Then again, no, whenever I say off, something Tyler. like Sauce. this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, if any of you decide to do it and decide to write something for Tyler, make sure you include a lot of cleavage and boobs. Oh, God, no. Is that going to be like... Not text, actual pictures and send them directly to Tyler. Or I'm both. just thinking like of like maybe this being put out as like a comic strip or something like that. And everyone will have like this massive story arc, but with mine, it will be like one panel with just some women in the room with like cleavages out <laughs> and that'll be it that'll be my story done with for the old friends whatever the fuck it is now uh, is trying to make tyler in a room full of boobs speaking of <laughs> boobs and writing stories uh have i told you guys of the time when i sat in a school and in front of it there was this like porn movie theater yeah i think you've told us this yeah probably well, okay, maybe the audience isn't familiar with that. So, yeah. That so, you're going to tell it anyway? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Bear with me a little. <laughs> Wait, uh, it depends. Did you say it in the podcast? Yeah, probably not. Ah, so then it's all free to go. You know, you let him say it. I'm interested now, suddenly. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Well, it sounds so sure. boring, right? <laughs> I mean, because little kids, it has boobs porn. In it. What could go wrong? <laughs> so, uh, back in high school, uh, in my third year, because high school here is like three years long, so lucky. Yeah, during my third year, uh, I studied at a school that was in like Midtown, and uh, there was this this old movie theater called Commodore, which in English is like Commodore. And uh, it was a porn theater. <laughs> and yeah, it was like, it was a really shady place. Uh, shady looking, at least. I've never been there, just so you know. <laughs> and the doors were usually closed. But sometimes one of them was left open and you could catch a glimpse of it. And it was, it was really, uh, it was weird, to be honest. And the funniest thing was, uh, most of the customers I've seen entering the place were like really old men, <laughs> like <Yeah>. grandfathers. <laughs> and so there were, uh, it was funny because sometimes they would just stop in front of the door, then look to the right, look to the left, look to the sky, whistle a little bit, and then they would just hole ass into the place. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the the routine was always the same for them. And it was just... Man, it was weird. So, I do mean, you think most of their business came from like parents just dropping the kids off? It's like, okay, Jimmy, have fun at high, have fun at your first day of high school. Well, there's a strip club next to this school. I'm gonna love it here. Uh, well, not actually, no, because there's the thing. It was really shady, and not a lot of people went there. Like, you didn't, you wouldn't be able to see a lot of movement there. Uh, <laughs> Every, everyone sitting as still as possible, quickly moving their hand up and down oh, in God. their lap. <laughs> oh, God. Well, then, uh, back to the Rolling fiction dice, part. right? <laughs> Let's try to change subjects here a bit. Uh, it's not exactly fan fiction, but TJ the other day made a picture for me, uh, which I think oh. was awesome. That's uh, adorable. Well, let me describe it before you say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was, it was a Brazilian flag, and in front of it, there was a lizard with a lollipop on its mouth and riding a, a peanut butter jar <laughs> because of the oh peanut butter lollipop God. lizard sex time. <laughs> and so I used it as a... I haven't uploaded it to RT yet. I might do it today or tomorrow. Depends on what time we finish here. Uh, and so I used it as a wallpaper for my computer and everyone who looked at it uh, always asked me what is this and I was like yeah uh, long story <laughs> you know <laughs> things and I never actually told them the stories just so my family wouldn't think I'm batshit crazy <laughs> but I say even if you told them the story you probably have more explaining to do afterwards <laughs> yeah when in doubt, like, just say it's from the internet. 
Yeah, Technically that's pretty speaking, much what I said. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's because of an inner joke I have uh, with some friends, and one of them decided to make this. Oh, okay. I am lucky they didn't ask what kind of inner joke, because then I'd be like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Stop. Like I got some... Lizard. <laughs> Peanut butter. Goat sex, damn it. <laughs> goats. Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss there something in that there picture? There goats. What? No. It was spot on. <laughs> um, I made that in my digital in my digital design class, and uh, I got some ditto. pretty weird looks. <laughs> I can ditto. never say that word quickly. Digital, digital. No, no, I have to like that was, say it slowly. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a Freudian slip. Digi digital. <laughs> Not no, no, ditto. <laughs> That's one word I can't say. The Freudian. I don't even know if I said it right there, but the slip thing. I can never say the word before. Freudian right. slip? Yeah, is it Freudian? Freudian. It's named after Sigmund Freud. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure where you're going with this, but all right. Uh, so, uh, something happened this week, and I mentioned it, and you guys were eager for me to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It involves why I have trust issues with jelly beans. Well, yeah. just, yeah. So, here's the thing. They stole your uh, cell phone? I, what? <laughs> they mugged you at night? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Uh, I went to a store, a candy store. I'm not going to say candy shop, so you guys don't need to sing it. Um, Take it to the candy shop. I let you lick the lollipop. Oh, how could you say this. that in front of a woman? I mean, what I have to hit me. You're going to hit the spot. Oh! Come on, Gaff, do the, the female voice part. Um. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? It's a remix. Remix? Uh, uh, story, sorry. We kind of derailed it. <laughs> well, anyway, so. I went to this candy store, and they had this uh, very different jelly beans, and it was the closest thing I could find for, to uh, shit. What's the name of the jelly beans in Harry Potter? Birdie oh Pops. Oh my god! Yes. Uh, so there was like a bunch of flavors, and you know they were edible. There wasn't anything like puke flavor or earwax flavor. And now I have a story for you, but after yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I grabbed a few of them, and there was one that was marked as cherry flavored. Let me tell you something. I love stuff that is cherry flavored, and mm. I love cherries. And so I was like, yes, cherry flavored. And so I, I pick a good amount of that and put it in the bag and leave the store. And then I reach in for the bag. Grab one of the cherry ones. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. Then I grab another one, and I notice this one is a different shade of red, like slightly different. I was like, yeah, maybe it's okay. Maybe this one uh, got more coloring thing, whatever. Mm. So I I threw it in my mouth. Turns out it was cinnamon, uh... and I was so fucking mad because even though I like cinnamon on stuff, I don't like cinnamon candies. Like it just doesn't, you know, doesn't and, fit well on me. And yeah. and I just ate that and I was like, God damn it. Then I went to I looked at the bag and there was like a bunch of those different shades of red. And <laughs> just a few of the ones that belong to cherry. And I was like, fuck. So that's why I have trust issues with jelly beans. <laughs> I could see you looking into the bag very suspiciously. Like staring down at just a bag of different shades of red, just being like, now, half of you are good, half of you are fucking disgusting. Now, you don't deserve to be in this bag. <laughs> I didn't get for your fucking cinnamon flavor. <laughs> good thing that uh, I have a good vision, so I was able to tell the difference between the reds. But, and also, <laughs> the good thing is I, I managed to get some other flavors and not just what I thought was cherry flavor so you know Good. uh uh eight out of ten will do it again <laughs> the two out of ten there being the cinnamon flavored 
yeah, uh, jelly beans that were in the packet. Um, fucking cinnamon jelly beans. Why hasn't somebody taken the Birdie Bots idea and just made a bag filled with a whole bunch of different flavors, some of them nasty, but all the beans are the same exact, like, plain color? Oh, uh, God, first, because they think it exists a risk with everybody. Evil. And second, because, you know, if you carry the brand uh, Birdie Bots or Harry Potter, people would buy it. But if you put any other brand, even if it's like uh, Magic Beans, you know, Magic Harry Potter, people would be like, yeah, fuck this. Yeah, you wouldn't buy it for yourself. You would buy it for someone else to try and then be like, ha ha ha, I'd buy it for myself. Flavor. Uh, I'll totally buy it for myself. <laughs> right. Um, small jelly bean related story, and I'm surprised that I actually had a jelly bean related story as well after you brought up the Harry Potter ones. We also years, have one. Yeah, years and years ago when I was, uh, I don't know if I should, yeah, screw it, I'll tell the story. They're probably never going to listen to it. But my sister-in-law, who at the time wasn't my sister-in-law because they hadn't got married yet, uh, was visiting me in my caravan at my holiday campsite thing uh, down the south coast of England. And I had Harry Potter sweets, uh, the jelly bean ones. And so far, I've been pretty fortunate with the thing. It's like I've not had any of the horrible flavours. I knew they existed because my friends had had them and... Um, I was just like incredibly lucky or just, I don't know, maybe I just thought I had like shit packets because I was almost trying to get a shit flavor because I had avoided it, avoided it for so long. So I give one, one of these jelly beans to my sister-in-law. Well, not then, but yeah, in the future she is. Um, <laughs> she goes red immediately stands up and rushes to the bathroom. Now, keep in mind, this is in the caravan. We all heard her pretty much violently be sick. Turns out, <laughs> turns out she had the horseradish flavour. She was not yeah. expecting that. And it wasn't even one of the worst flavours you could get, you know, but it's still pretty bad. What was the flavour? Horse, horseradish. Oh, God. So, yeah, as you can imagine she wasn't expecting that. Um, she comes out and I'm like, I, I'm dreadfully sorry. You know, um, the last thing I want to do to you is give you a shit jelly bean, you know. So do you want another one? And I picked out a completely different color because I was like, you know, this this has got to be strawberry or something. You know, this this can't be bad. This is not the same color as the one I gave her previously. And wait, uh, just catch me up to speed. Um, yeah. Those were the Birdie Bots ones. I think so, but it was years ago, and okay. they haven't been sold in the UK for quite a while, I don't think. If they were, though, they came with, like, a little, like, picture with the name or the flavor of the jelly bean. Like, this is grass. This is vomit. This is cherry. Uh, no, on if I remember rightly, on the back of these ones at the time, because they were just new, some of them had question marks around them, and I obviously gave her some <laughs> of those ones. Um, uh, I don't know if that only happened in the UK releases. Um, but yeah, I gave her another one, and I was like, that's got to be strawberry or something. Turns out, somehow, it was one of the rotten flavors, and I, to this day, wasn't told which one it was, but she... Uh, that's the story about how I made my sister-in-law, who I dearly love, Sick twice due to giving her jelly beans. Tyler, <laughs> you're just... a horrible human being. I didn't mean to do that. Tyler, how could you? Right? I was really sorry. <laughs> you sick bastard. What an She's asshole. She's forgiven me. Well, because yeah, she had no she choice. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, well, I guess I'm sick now. to this asshole. She has no choice. She's family. <laughs> exactly. I bet she's still got a grudge about like those jelly beans and one day I'm going to go totally. over to have a meal and it's going to be like, here, here's a lovely steak. Tastes like horseradish. How do you feel? <laughs> Just to you know what? If she vomits on your face or something, I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, you should actually oh, apologize to her again. Like, I'm sorry. And, you know, you can vomit it on my was... face again and then she proceeds to do it again. Come and then we're like, okay, 
surprisingly enough, it was one of the memories of my teenage years that I remember, like I'm talking young, like almost 13 years old kind of teenage years that I remember and regret. <laughs> Be- <laughs> God damn it. 13, but with a F. Yes, Gaff just that, pointed out that I've got a. Is that because you failed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Failing at the lessons. <laughs> not getting better, bro. Mm-hmm. I do I'm not learning. see improvement. But I'm learning the difference between TH and F. Are you, though? No, it's not working. <laughs> My mouth doesn't work. <laughs> Well, then. Oh, guys, stop picking on Tyler. What did he do to you guys? Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, it's Go. okay. I'm sorry, Tyler. Not I'm just kidding. Fuck him. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> it started with a sorry, and then all three of you are like, oh, fuck him, he's a dick. <laughs> what does <that> want? <laughs> Group high five, except for Tyler. Oh, my God. Swish. I raised my hand. Yeah, well, and we no. left you hanging <laughs> forever alone. <laughs> this is completely different to the last podcast. You guys were happy to have me on back then. <laughs> well, we, we had we had Vic last podcast, didn't we? Yeah, even if she I were here, so. she would be jumping in too. I know. Oh yeah, because Gaff is here. Exactly. <laughs> when Gaff's here, Vic three sixties on me. I swear, she takes Gaff's side. <laughs> you mean one eighties on you? That's the word that's been around in the, the circle. 80s. Good rock, not so good other music. But that time I said free rock. That sentence makes sense. Wait, said you free said what, right? Uh, I said free, right? Ah, so ah, free, there 60. you go. Free. <laughs> I said it right that time. You all hear that? That was evidence of me saying it correctly. <laughs> now, it if you could possible. tell me how the fuck I did that, um, I will be grateful. You <laughs> use okay. your uh, mouth. I'll send you the I'll audio just... files and you can try and piece it together. Yeah. Thank you. you know what, TJ? Uh, I know that's going to be extra work, but you can just replace the F sounds for TH sounds, you know? But every time I've got it right, <laughs> which is that one time, you're going to replace it with the F? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Or I... uh, do it the other way around. Or I can I'll just go in them. and make it even worse. I can, oh, like, yeah. put over, like, some ridiculous filter over Tyler's voice every time Tyler talks. It sounds hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) What? What was that? (laughs) I'm concerned. (laughs) It sounds like voice. (laughs) Whoa. You okay? That did not sound like Louis. Uh, Yeah, but that's because it's Tyler's own voice. Tyler gonna do it. Do it. Do, do it. Do, what, what is he doing? Change Tyler's voice for the weird thing wait, I just did. Wait, is Jim the editor to this thing still? I uh, I don't know if he's want, if he's uh, gonna yeah, edit it. Edit it. That's if, edit. If he's not, it. then that's even better. TJ, you're right here, man. I have done nothing bad to you. You fucked me up on Happy Wars that one time. You you're one up on me. Well, you. <laughs> There was that one time on the one map where I spent, like, me and Nick spent about 12 hours fucking chasing you around the map because you kept coming around <laughs> behind our base, and you wouldn't fucking die. Do you know why? Because that was a perfect strategy, because you were chasing me down. You were the strongest players on that team. The rest <laughs> of my team could do whatever they wanted, and you were outnumbered after that. All because I had if we, to do if we... was run in and hit you and then run away like a bitch healing if myself. We... <laughs> If we left you alone, you would murder him. our. You would either murder our teammates, or you would just keep destroying our shit. Oh yeah, that, you must be stopped I, by I the evil bird. Tricky, I was a tricky asshole. At, uh, fucking happy was, <laughs> but I wasn't the only one. You heard it here first, yeah, everybody. You know what? Tyler is literally an asshole. Uh, tricky asshole is the best name ever for like a band, or a tricky asshole, uh, or a, a sex thing. Mm. Like and no. now we present to you the tricky asshole. It's like a it's like a combination <laughs> of salad tossing and a Boston pancake. Uh, well, 
uh, I don't know. And uh, <laughs> the lead singer, instead of singing, he would just fart on a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling it here, uh, so if you want to name your band Tricky Asshole, let us know and send us a clip of you. And, and we pretty much we, you we claim, our, sure we like claim our royalties. Oh yeah, sure. I, I mean, you're going to have to pay like 80% of whatever you you win on us. So You win. Congratulations. <laughs> you We aren't paying you, you just win money. Yeah, because <laughs> that's how it works, right? I mean... No. Right? No, you get paid. <laughs> you open chess. Well, okay. I couldn't remember the verb while I was talking. Thank you so very fucking much. I honestly <laughs> have no right to like, talk about being paid since I've never even had a job. Not for a lack of trying. Um, well, but now we're going to get paid by whoever names are bad and tricky asshole. Yeah, Look so I don't, I don't ever need to worry about it, getting a job. TJ? You have a job. You are the co-podcast editor of the Shifty Keys podcast. It's a like, Take it like uh, your own. When am I getting paid? You're not. Zero it's business. like, uh, you know, voluntary work. Can, can, I, can, I just, like, can we just send this podcast right? to like Rooster Chief and say, hey, we made this podcast because we like your community. Can you give us free RTX tickets and plane tickets and stuff? No, nice. then we're going to get away. A mail yeah. back from Gus uh, showing his middle finger. I was about to, to say, us. they're going to send us a formal letter that says, fuck you, and that's they, it. They probably yeah. already have a template. Dear something, <laughs> and then they just fill it like Shifty Key Podcast. Uh, we received your letter. We thank you for uh, your, you know, for whatever. And we would like to politely tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> no free tickets. But well, you know, if any of the staff is listening to this, uh, you know, we we would like free tickets. Yeah. Wink, wink. So, in all, um, Tyler can provide goats for you. What do you think no, our chances would thing. be to ever get like a Rooster Teeth staff member onto this podcast? Like, Wait, out of what a million, was the difficult. Like, oh, the odds. Yeah. Let Depends me, on uh, time. As Hans Solo once said. Never tell me the ads. So never tell me the fucking ads. I I would certainly say there are odds out there, like could happen. Um but it's gonna be fucking slim. And it's gonna get slimmer and slimmer the closer you get to RTX. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. It's all a matter of planning. Like the day before so you, RTX, message Barbara. Goats. Hey, can you be on our podcast tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. that, that would probably <laughs> be like, definitely. On the second day of RTX. Hey, uh, so. <laughs> she'll get the message RTX three days. Finished? Maybe. She'll get the message after RTX goes on and she'll be like, what the fuck is this? She'll send a message back. Fuck you. <laughs> Immediate response yeah. from and the then community we get a manager, formal letter I'm sure. <laughs> from Barbara, like, dear Shifty Key podcast. <laughs> But that's the kind of stuff you could print screen and just make, like... You could make that the Hall of Fame fucking... That she responded at all kind of thing, you know? <laughs> she talked to me. She talked. To, she told me to fuck off, but she talked to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... It's like the one time I managed to ask Michael to tell me to shut up, and he tells me to shut up. <laughs> Wait, what happened? That was pretty fun. Yeah, that happened. Uh, it was during one of the sponsor cuts when he recorded the Banjo Tui one. At the very, oh. very beginning, uh, they were getting set up, and then he asked uh, Kyle, uh, "Wait, uh, is this a screen uh, with Twitter?" And then he was like, "Yeah, that's a screen." And you know, I'm also looking at it and whatever. Then I think Kyle was the one who read it. Uh, Oh no! Wait, that was fuck. Hold on, I can't remember. It was either Kyle or it was Michael, Kyle. but one of them. It was Kyle. Wait, was it? Never mind. I didn't know what you're no. talking about. Continue. No, no. I think it was Michael because I remember he like he kind of laughed a bit and then he went all serious and told me to shut up. And I, I tweeted something like because Kyle said, "Oh, you can ask him to answer something or tell you to shut up." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> 
So I, I mentioned this before in another episode, so I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive. And I was like, uh, so, Kyle, could you ask Michael to tell me to shut up? And then I think Michael read it and it was like, <laughs> he left a little bit and then he said, hey, shut up, uh, shut the fuck up, come on, be quiet. No. And Didn't he actually say was, your name? Spartan Sloth? Uh, and Kyle said it later. And it was like, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, thank you, Spartan Sloth. And so that's how my name went into the Hall of Fame. Yay! I'm actually really happy with that. I feel like yeah. on those live streams, if you have a funny name, they're more likely to say it. Because, uh, <laughs> me, I was kind of fucked on the uh, sponsor cut, the live stream, uh, live game night that I went to, the first one. Uh, hmm. They were like all focused on, like, uh, there was Munster Chief. And a whole bunch of other interesting names, and it's just like TJ1023. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the difference. Like, you call all these big, funny names, and it's just an actual, you know, name with a few numbers afterwards. <sighs> yeah. He's probably been on the site longer than every other name that's been called out as well, but I, because his name I, is pretty default. <laughs> I won't go that far. I don't know, there's a high possibility, but you see what I mean. Like, it is possible that those accounts were created months after you existed on the site as well. <laughs> and you got the, uh, TJ. <laughs> Actually, I noticed um, on my uh, signed up thing, on my profile, this March 26th, I believe, will be my third year on the site. Well, congratulations. That's sweet. Cool. I'm scared of looking at mine again because mine it weird is that I've been on, on there for May. nearly nine months. Ten months. Tyler, you've been on for ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've shit. been older. I've been on for nine months. Wow. I remember when I thought I was a noob and I just didn't use the site for ages. I remember when I thought I was a noob. I was like recently born and then I noticed, yeah, you know what? These bitches are mine. And, you know, that's the story of how it was born. Read my book, Real people. Life. It's called Spartan Sloth. Uh, the story of a sloth who conquered the universe. It's going to be released after I killed the Emperor and build Death Star 3. And uh, and also kill Kratos, because that fucker's going to be some trouble. Real talk about life suddenly, and this isn't going to be anything deep, but... Um, if someone kind of <laughs> young finds this podcast and listens to it and goes, oh man, I wish I was their age. <laughs> Believe I, it or I hit... not, the, no, the don't. momentum will shift and suddenly you hit this magical age called 18 and then you forget a few months and then suddenly you, like growing older becomes much quicker than you expect and you forget where all the fucking time goes. The only reason why I brought that up is because he was talking about being born and then growing older to this stage. And I was just like, God, I remember being 10, 12, 13, whatever, fuck 11. But I remember <laughs> thinking that age being like, I am so young, I can't do anything. And now I'm thinking back at that age and I was like, my God, it felt like ages ago. What but is it now about it's our... gone past. Shit. What is it about our brains? Like, I remember being a little kid. A year felt like a lifetime. Yeah. And yeah. now... It sucks. Now, now I can... it's just like... It's March already. How the fuck did that I happen? I know. I, like, I can literally... Like, I guess it has to do with, like, how far ahead you can think. Like, I can literally think ahead to, like, oh, March next year, I'll probably be doing the same thing. Sitting in my computer chair yeah. recording podcasts with a bunch of losers. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. I love you guys. Except Tyler. No, you hearts. don't. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I gave hearts. He gave, and I'm keeping he gave them too. none back. <laughs> no hearts were given. No. He gave a back slap. <laughs> uh, so I think we kind of hit a new demographic right now. Are old people in retired. Uh, no, no. Old people in retirement homes. Oh, God. Mostly of the cougar variety. Yeah, great, right? <laughs> we went full circle, people. <laughs> we knew we could welcome do to it. the Welcome to the start of the Shifty Keys Podcast 8, where we talk about sex and old women. 
Oh God! And <laughs> you know, we and we try to get Tyler to be embarrassed. Okay, I've been waiting for you to bring it up, but you still haven't brought it up, Tyler. Oh, the Ukrainian yeah, that's, wizard. That's, that's, no, 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 I can bring it up in this. Well, actually, no, there's no point now because you said it. Bring but it up I was now. Segue. Um, segue faster, damn it. Fine. Stop Before stalling. this podcast, we're waiting I'm fine, for I'm you, doing it, guy. <laughs> Before this podcast started, um, we wanted a topic to talk about, and I said the only news I really heard of, like actually in the news in the media was what's going on with Russia and Ukraine and possibly World War Three. Woo. Um, upon saying this, TJ said um, about the Ukrainian wizard, and I've been so puzzled about that. What is it? Okay. The Ukrainian wizard is a picture of a riot in the Ukraine, and there's a random guy, like, Barely off to the left of the picture, he's in a wizard hat. Oh my god! And you no, can't you this. can't see pipes or hands or anything. <laughs> you just see a jet of fire streaming out of like where his hands should be, and it's it's awesome. <laughs> I, I thought that was something that was just you know photoshopped ages ago that I saw. It must have been on Rooster Teeth's uh, greatest image, Fred. Shout out to that because that's fucking hilarious, and it always puts me in a good mood. But I, I thought that was just a photoshop. Like that, that that was put in there. <laughs> was he actually there? I believe so. My God! I mean, it's that on guy, the internet, so nothing's off the table. That guy, if it's true, has fucking balls because he's literally fighting armed officers in a cape with nothing. <laughs> uh, well, fireballs. First, he's using magic. Second. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of brave because it didn't seem like he was buffed. Yeah. He was going against a full-on mob, so, you know. He's, he's just sitting there like, my time has come. My constitution has reached plus two. I can take them on. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Fireball. Christ. <laughs> that reminds me of Gus <laughs> on the on that short in which he trains Chris. Like, fireball, fireball, kid. fireball, fireball. Yes, that one. That was a really good one. That is the one thing I don't understand about uh, LARPing, amongst a dictionary of other things I don't understand about LARPing. But magic is represented by throwing something at someone, like a card, and yelling out what you're doing. So there was this one video of this dude that was violently throwing cards at this other dude, yelling, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, like that. Lightning bolt, and lightning bolt. I... I, I if you guys can find it on YouTube somewhere, I swear to God, put it in your link dump. Um, because it, it's an old, it's a grown man, stressfully red-faced, yelling, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Oh, God. Sorry to anyone out there that laughs. It's just that I have very little understanding about it, and I'm sure that that one person may not represent may not represent the entire LARPing community, but I have been yet to be shown something else that's cool. Like a cool way to represent magic. I mean, Maybe they should just Harry use Potter smartphones. Doesn't count. What? Yeah, but in the Harry Potter uh, world, let's say, they did have classes that taught them to cast spells without seeing what they were. And if I remember correctly, Harry sucked balls at that. And I'm talking about Quidditch balls, you sick bastards. (laughs) Ayo. Come on, Gaff. You gotta start it now, she won't stop. Damn it. I stopped her. No, really, I think she just forgot to hit the button. (laughs) Well, (laughs) Quidditch, right? No, no, I'm just thinking how boring Quidditch would be as a real life sport if it actually did exist. I, I understand. Have you? Have you no, no. I haven't watched. Yes, there is a movie with that. Uh, the interns. Just... Yes. Oh my god, that <laughs> scene was fucking awesome. But I'm just thinking to myself, if it existed by now, like once it gets to like a professional level of actual Quidditch. How boring would it be knowing that one fucker would always go after that golden snitch thing and just end the game like that? 
that's the point of the the sport in in the book. I know. The one but fucker goes after be, it. That one that fucker is the Harry fucking Potter. After a little while. They're, they're not gonna like put down their tea and crumpets to you know. It's like <laughs> oh, the, the 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 Golden Stitch guy's got this. We can just sit this one out because <laughs> if and, you understand still, the rules of Quidditch, the snitch ends the game. The I game know. goes on until you catch it, but it only gives you like 150 points. So you, you could theoretically beat the win. snitch. You could beat so, the snitch. So say if someone's losing by 160 points, they're like, we don't want the snitch. Fuck the snitch. <laughs> exactly. No, they would like, want the uh, snitch. Maybe no, the... Wait, how many points do you get for it again? You get 150. 150. If, they're losing, if they're losing by 150... Yeah. And no, they if got they're the losing snitch. by 160, I said. Okay, they no, they don't then. want the snitch. They would try and score and then go after the snitch. And, and the other team would be racing like, like fuck to get the snitch. Yeah, and meanwhile, the snitch catcher could uh, try to... <laughs> the what? snitch catcher. Or, or, they could, wrong? Name. or they could just be trying to, uh, like, you know, get as many balls in as possible. <laughs> oh like, keep, keep that lead up. Oh, we're keep talking about up. porn again. <laughs> Well, I mean, if, if you go off the Quidditch and the interns, then it is kind of like porn. I mean, that guy literally had, like, golden balls hanging down from his spandex oh, suit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that scene was... <laughs> that was something else. Uh, fuck, I, I forgot what I was going to talk about related to Quidditch. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, no, no, it's okay. It wasn't because of you. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, right, 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 right. Uh, so... Back when I was a kid, like, I, I don't know, I was uh, 10 or something. I was really young. Uh, my sister and I got for Christmas the complete collection for Lord of the Rings. Not like with uh, The Hobbit and Silmarillion, but, you know, the three books related to The One Ring. Well, I guess The Hobbit's related. Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so we got those three books uh, the ones that tell Frodo's story there you go um, and then we had only watched, we haven't read the books yet we had only watched the first movie and it doesn't finish the story of course because it's a trilogy and back then that sort of thing was kind of just starting, you know, movies that leave you on a complete cliffhanger like no closure at all and uh, and so we kind of didn't like it because there was no ending and we didn't know that it was a trilogy. And so my sister comes up to me and says, yeah, you know what? These books suck. Like, remember the movie? I was like, yeah. So, yeah, let's, you know, let's uh, exchange it for something else. I was like, uh, you sure want to do that? Like, let's try reading. I haven't seen these other titles yet, like The Two Towers and Return of the King. She was like, nah, yeah, let's just try something else. I was like, oh. Okay, and so she proceeded to convince me to exchange it for Finding Nemo, like with two DVDs, one that had extras or something. Great Another DVD. random shitty DVD that was also about fishes, and <laughs> it was fucking awful. And uh, Quidditch throughout uh, the ages. And that was the only good thing that came out of that exchange was Quidditch Throughout the Ages. And it's a oh. really, really small book. It's like, it's not even 100 pages long, is it? But what <laughs> so about Finding I kind of regret. Well, you know, it gets boring after you watch it a fuck lot of times. And yeah, I like reading. Good. Yeah, it was a really good movie. I still like it, but... I like reading, and I really wanted to read those books now, and uh, I kind of lost my window there. Uh -huh. Because I was young and naive. So naive. Um, you know who you can blame for that, like your sister. She sold your books. Oh yeah, I still blame her for that. <laughs> you know, jokingly, sometimes we, yeah. when we get to this topic, I was like, yeah, thanks to you. I haven't read it yet. It would suck as well, like, I suppose it's too bad, but it would be, like, really bad if you found out they were, like, first editions. You you found out afterwards that, like, the third one was oh. signed. Uh, uh, 
and they were like pretty much mint condition as well. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that would suck. But you know what? They were kind of like uh, <laughs> they were like uh, deluxe editions or something. Like they came in a pack, and the cover was beautiful. I remember that the cover was really beautiful, and it wasn't like what they do nowadays that they use a movie poster for the cover. No, it was like drawn. It was it seemed really good. Fuck, now I'm starting to feel even more regret. And Gav just said in the chat, she owes you. <laughs> Make her name her kid Snake Mort. Snake so Mort. now you know now you know why <laughs> I'm going to name him or her Snake Mort. <laughs> oh my gosh. It shocked even me if with it's, Lord of the Rings. You ah, know what? Continue. Even if it's not uh the actual name in the end, I'm going to name that kid Snake Mort for the rest of his of her life. Here's her her life. <laughs> nickname. I just it's like something. the name might be something like John, and I'll spend his whole life saying, "Hey, Snake Mart, Uncle, my name is not Snake Mart. Shut the fuck up. Snake you, you don't know what's behind this. You can have dreams. <laughs> there are far bigger forces behind this than you could possibly understand, kid. <laughs> Luis, I just thought of something. You don't you don't want to name your own kid Snake Mart. Oh, not just at all. have a kid. Name it whatever you want, and then adopt another kid and name him Snake Mort. Why would I do that? It would still be my kid. <laughs> Not biologically. Yeah, but I would still have to. Jesus. Come on. You'd have to I can legally now. name him Snake Mort. I and then know, disown but if him. I... What? <laughs> Jesus, wow. I'm giving you options. Hey, I'm giving you options here. You heartless bastard. So you would adopt him, name him, and then send him back? Just dump the kid what? like that? Come on. I, I didn't God, say send him back. I just said disown him. Oh, <laughs> well, so that's even worse because he could end up anywhere. So uh, Ra raise him till he's 18. You return the and kid then... to the orphanage. Just, you know, leave it anywhere. Come Someone on, just him. raise him till he's 18 <laughs> and then be like, okay, kid, fuck you. Your name is Snakemore and you're on your own. That would be the number one way to pretty much make a villain with a shit name. As well. Yes. And also the number one way to burn in hell. Oh yeah, that would be a pretty quick way to burn in hell. I, I'm not the one who's insisting on naming somebody Snake Mort. Yeah, You're but insisting it's on not adopting my own... a kid, naming it yeah. some I'm shit not name, insisting. and then disowning it. Like I said... <laughs> I'm only moment. giving you <laughs> options. I'm giving you options, Luis. I can already sense the dirty look. <laughs> TJ. Yeah. <laughs> now you're getting dirty looks. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> there was that line. You can't even see the line now. It's gone. You see, I saw the line, and then I said, fuck the line, and I crossed it. And then he actually proceeded to fuck the line, and then he just crossed it afterwards. Because he's the kind of guy that doesn't oh. call the line later. Oh god, thank god you said that. I is, the, is, the, is the line like in the ground? Like dirt or concrete? Because that would kind of hurt, depending on the substance. Whenever I, I say... Know. Whenever I say you've crossed the line, for some reason I always, I always think of like a line in the sand. So I suppose that's a little bit more comfortable than trying to... <laughs> Dude, concrete. How, wait. <laughs> How is it that getting sand on your penis would be comfortable? <laughs> I love how I love how you say it in context, and everyone turns into immature little kids, and they're like penis. But we normally yell that word randomly. But um, it's like, you, are you actually what was that about, about yelling stuff? Penis. Sand? I don't know. It seems a bit better than hurt. grazing it against concrete. Imagine you grazing find, your like, tip against concrete. <laughs> what if you find like uh, one of those crabs, you know, that live on the sand and then go to the sea and whatever, like in the middle snaps of it and just tip. snaps you? That would, oh my god! <laughs> that would ruin a good time. Yes. With the line. <laughs> Thank you, Gaff. You understand. <laughs> Ow. Oh, one sec. How long have we got left on the podcast? I don't know if I can oh, tell this one last so story. Uh, we still have some time. Uh, you can tell the story and then we, I don't know, we could <laughs> go to the questions. Well, I found out, and Gaff, 
I don't know if you want this story. It's not really a story, so to speak, but I found the number one way to make her just immediately start laughing. And it's unfortunate because it's usually about hurting myself. <laughs> yes, go it, it, on. Is this, is this cool Continue. with carrying on knowing that it's particularly about how to hit your funny bone? The the BB gun thing? Cause no, 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 no. Hilarious. Oh. Even, even more immature. Is it icing um, hot on the balls? It's, yeah. Is it's it pretty fucking much sad? about being hit in the bollocks is the number one way That's always funny. to make Gaff laugh. And I found out the other day that it was kind of like, well, the last time we brought it up, so it's not really the other day, it was ages ago. It's not funny. But it is also funny. That is something that needs a line crossed beneath it because I can watch YouTube videos of like people being kicked hilariously in the nuts and I'm like, ah, that poor bastard, he got fucking hurt. And then there's the occasional ones that look really bad and you kind <laughs> of get struck aback and you're like, oh, yeah, like cringe worthy. Yeah. And you I just I look down know. at your crotch and you're like, my dad's hurt now. Yeah. I want to know where the defined line is, where that cringeworthiness kicks in more than the hilariousness. And I think I found the most hilarious one that just borderlines the cringeworthy, which was the skateboarder that uh, goes around the corner, uh, loses control, and his legs separate between two different poles. <laughs> and of course, he cracks against both of them, and one of the poles rattle for a little while. It, it caught him in nothing but the bollocks, and I should be, you know, cringing at it because it looked like it fucking hurt. But it is one of the most hilarious clips. I can't, I struggle to find it just on its own because it's normally on like YouTube compilations and stuff like that. And it struck a chord with me because I was like, why is that not cringeworthy? That should fucking have me holding my bollocks in pain. <laughs> I, I don't know what brought that up in the end. Uh, the I have line a in the sand. somewhat... Uh... Oh, and that's the other thing. Belvedering. Oh, Belvedering. yes. <laughs> that is uh. awful. When you, like... oh I told you. I told you, Gaff. Someone else does no, it. It's a sort of thing that... Jesus Christ. Wait, it's wait. like every other guy I talk to, like, hey, have you belvedered yourself? No, never. And of course, wait. And then it's like one person. I Belvedere's when a guy sits on his own testicles. But, okay. okay. But it's like okay, Gaff. Let me try to explain it. Uh, it's not like it happens every time we sit down, but there is like this one particular position that if you sit oh. like that, like it happens once every hundred thousand years or so. When the sun doth shine, and true. the moon doth glow, and the <laughs> um, grass doth grow. Gaff, Gaff has pretty much Anyways. seen this happen firsthand twice with me. <laughs> well, I was the only one, like, Muggsy and Spencer saw, like... Oh, it seems to be, over, it? Yeah. Or heard you. We didn't see you, we oh, heard you. But it you was know real, and it was painful, and it's I been... was struggling to breathe. It's been a really long time since that last happened. Uh, that happened like I don't know about three times maybe or something when I was uh, in my early years of my well at the beginning of my teenage years. And uh, when you discovered you had balls, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> but it hasn't happened again in a long time. Thank God, because it's really painful. <laughs> oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> it's like you sit down. And then there's a moment of sudden realization in which you know that, oh, fuck. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah! The worst thing about it is that you immediately feel sick. Like, sick to yeah. your stomach. And it's like... It's like, well, I fucked what? up. Then three seconds later, you're just rolling. Like, ah! So Regretting I and to kick off biting the your lips. Like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I just want to say, this has never happened to me. Uh -huh. so, don't have balls. <laughs> it's gonna happen today. TJ knows how to sit. <laughs> no, he'll have this one day <laughs> where he gets do you, a bit too comfortable. Do you guys, do you guys just like quickly. slam yourself into the chair like full throttle? Uh, yes. like, you, you jump up and at an angle. <laughs> you jump up yes. in midair, go into a sitting position, and like have the full force of the Earth's gravity pull you into the chair. No, 
No, I don't like, <laughs> like get right into your seating balls. position while aerial and then land. <laughs> what I do is I jump too quickly on this fucking chair and one of my boss looks seems to be underneath my leg at the time. <laughs> See, I told you, it makes oh, a laugh. Oh, come on, Gav. Are you going to tell me that you never sat down and you suddenly felt cramps or something? Huh? 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 <laughs> she never sat okay, down maybe on that that I, I mean, that has happened. <laughs> I have felt cramps before, Louise, but... <laughs> See? No. See? Gav. No, but I have been lucky. Different. I have not sat on my own uh, testicles ever. <laughs> yeah, that's the one drawback of being Good a to man. know, darling. <laughs> <laughs> You, you must be very good at avoiding it. But, um, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how you do it. Right? <laughs> that's it's, it's, almost, that it's almost like they don't exist questions. for you. It's amazing. <laughs> right? Because, you know, I have this well, way where I can make them stay inside my body. Okay? Get it? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Sounds like a bad episode of Get Mouse. it because Gev's a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. You're welcome, none of, none of us got that before you, before you said that. I know, right? <laughs> we were all still under the impression <laughs> that maybe you would one day sat on your bollocks. <laughs> but, uh, well, well, yeah, you know, that's a real problem, and you should be aware for that. I actually yes. have a story. Uh, I never really got my balls <laughs> kicked uh, have... like that. No, hold on. Uh, <laughs> let me finish. I've had uh, like a dodgeball ball hit me in the balls, and that was very painful. I've had soccer <laughs> balls hit me in the balls, but there was this one time, the only time I actually got kicked in the balls, uh, and it was slightly accidental, it was like I was a child, I was probably eight or something, and my cousin and I used to just randomly kick each other in the butt, and so there was <laughs> As cousins time, do. Oh my god! Uh, and there was this one oh. time I was in the kitchen talking to my mom, I guess, and I was just <laughs> stopping the position in which my legs were a bit open, like more than normal. I don't, I don't fucking know why. And then my cousin you weren't standing to... like a lady. No, I was. Uh, I was on my foot, on my feet, like I was standing up. I'm, and oh my uh, god. anyway. And then uh, my cousin creeps back behind me and just proceeds me to give me what was supposed to be the biggest kick in the butt I've ever received. But she ended up hitting me in the balls. And it was so painful. I remember I screamed like, ah! and then I just kneeled down. And it was, just, ah! it was oh, really God. fucking painful. I was. Did I kept you... screaming in pain for like five consecutive minutes until people right. managed to calm me down. Like, what happened? What happened? She kicked me in the balls. Why would you do that? I was aiming for his balls. I was aiming for his butt. Just out of curiosity, Luis, how do you yes. say she kicked me in the balls in uh, Portuguese? Oh, I was a kid, so I was probably like, uh, well, probably kind of like what, what, how we would say, uh, ah. Really, in Portuguese, TJ? Isn't that what you speak? Okay. You seem confused. It was like, ah, ela vai acertar as bolas. Something like that. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that happened. Uh, one small question for that. Um, yes. Because this is important for my imagery to be 100%. When she kicked you, was it like a flat shoe surface across it where she basically had her foot out or was it tilted towards the inside of your body so she toe punted your balls and nothing else I one is much more remember, painful than the other i can remember it that much tyler probably repressed the memories <laughs> i i ask for your understanding of the situation and mm -hmm. ask you for you know to i understand just so. don't talk about it again okay <laughs> i actually have my own story and this one isn't Entirely about me getting kicked in the balls or anything like that. Um, so in middle school, there was this uh, kind of fad going around where uh, people would uh, do cup checks. And oh, uh, if you know what a cup uh, is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, smacks it's, uh, the balls. <laughs> yeah, they basically just randomly, you're like walking down the hall, you're like, cup check. You're like, wait, no. They just, they just like punch you right in the balls. I don't have a cup. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, every once in a while, there would also be a dead leg or two. 
so me and my friend, there was this one kid. He um he uh dead legged one of us. I think he dead legged me, and he cup checked my friend. So next class, uh, we both just casually walked up next to him. One of us cup checked him, and while he was uh like kneeled over in pain, I just walked up beside him and gave him like the worst dead leg ever. <laughs> so he was oh. like. <laughs> It was like a perfectly coordinated attack. Ouch. It was amazing. TJ, the overkill guy. Revenge is a bitch. So. Yeah. Any stories you want to share of when you got kicked in the balls? Oh, have you um, kicked anyone else in the balls? <laughs> you just have... Balls? <laughs> balls? <laughs> There, there was me almost spilling a water bottle while <laughs> saying that. So that was a bit of me visually trying to keep that in my grip. <laughs> I've had my balls sure, before, sure. but never my balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay. So let's, you know, be realistic here. Since Gaff is a girl, she doesn't have balls. <laughs> so have you ever kicked anyone in the balls, Gaff? A- absolutely. You absolutely. know what? Uh, for you, audience... This is a very, very cruel move, and you should only use it when it's absolutely necessary or absolutely deserved. Don't kick people into balls just for fun, because it really hurts. Now that the oh, PSA really is over... To. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, now that the PSA is over, Gaff, go on. I mean, I've had... I can't, like retell one story where I kick someone in the nuts, but because, I mean, it just happens sometimes. Shoe meets <laughs> testicles, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you were walking down the street, and then all of a sudden your, your foot goes up to someone's crotch, and it's like, oh, sorry, sorry. This is yeah, the mind of its it own. Just it just happened. <laughs> I was just Nature walking down the street, course. <laughs> and this guy walked in, this guy's balls walked into my foot. The guy shouldn't have been laying down as I was walking there. Legs I mean, open. you were perfectly there, just mind your own business, reading your newspaper, and my shoe was like, yeah, bro, gotta hit those balls. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like just one shoe looking shoe. at the other shoe. You know I gotta. I know you gotta. Smack. Yeah, the other shoe is like, it's a rational part, and it's looking at the other one. It's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this shit again. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, you guys want to do questions now? <laughs> What's the questions? Yeah. Well then, uh, this one is by Spencer. And Spencer. Yes, that's Hi. that's Spencer. Hi, Spencer. AKA Darkside eighty nine X. Exactly. I was about to say that. Uh, I beat you to it. Sp- <laughs> Spencer asks, "Who are you, and what have you done with Jeffrey?" Uh, well, Spencer, <laughs> let me He's tell in you the dungeon. Boy. DJ, come on. Uh, see, Spencer, <clears throat> if you want to see Jeffrey again, the blow though, there's some stuff you're gonna have to do, and you know what it is. Like we already sent you the letter. And you know, you say you don't deal with people who kidnap blow dolls named Jeffrey, but TJ, TJ is kind of fucked in the head. So you know, you're you're gonna have to reach a compromise, man. TJ, like you know, you I'm not giving everyone. Jeffrey up. Oh Jeffrey's fine. <laughs> Belvedere yourself, and then you can have Jeffrey. <laughs> yep. Belvedere yourself, and then film it. <laughs> then I can't consider giving you back, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is it possible uh, to like velvedere yourself on purpose? Sure. No, no yes. that's the magical thing. You don't want Just to, to like sit on a short pole or something and you're guaranteed to <clears throat> get hurt. Like I mean don't sit, just throw yourself balls first on it and it's good to go. Yeah, but then it's just masochistic, like that is sadistic <laughs> trying to Hurt yourself. Gav would laugh. Gav, Gav would, laugh. would laugh as well. Oh well, at least one of her shoes will laugh. Okay, good question. Just be looking down. Calm down, Jeffrey. You're not leaving for a long time. <laughs> Jeffrey's the one in the basement. Well, 
so, Simon asks, you are given free reign to kill just one person in the world. Who would it be? Hitler. I see your Hitler, and I raise you with Mecha Hitler. That was so quick. My brain wasn't even functioning. Tyler. Uh, they took the two <laughs> good ones. No, I mean Tyler is my choice. Oh, oh. TJ. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, In that case, TJ. <laughs> So let's see. Uh, we just Gap kill each and other. I are trying to end the Third Reich, Aww. killing Mecha Hitler and Hitler, and the two of you are selfish enough to try and kill each other. Oh, well, you okay, guys. That's good. Like, that's a, that's okay, 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 okay. No, no, that's I okay. No, you answered. You answered. I would kill Vladimir Putin because really? I am secretly the Ukrainian wizard. <laughs> dun, I dun, am dun, Ukrainian dun. wizard. You know what? You should have your own theme song, like Ukrainian wizard casting fireballs. Ukrainian wizard fucking All your shit. Ninja up. sex parties one. Really? Well, yeah, you could do the I unicorn wizard. Ninja wizards. sex parties. You uh, should. I, I Everyone know. Should. I should catch up on a lot of things on the internet. Uh, fuck, I, I forgot where I was going with the theme song. But anyway, something like that. You know, it's catchy. Ukrainian wizard. <laughs> No, with fireballs. With 100% more fireballs. Uh, well then. Uh, Tyler, you want to change your answer for killing the Ukrainian wizard? Can I kill any virtual version of TJ that I find? That Dude, oh, the... you're boring. <laughs> you're going that to... one day against that bird. Is pain. So basically, you're just going to join into every multiplayer game I ever play and try to kill me. Yeah, game over you at every possibility. Oh, mm -hmm. Good luck to you, good sir. Yeah, I'm going to need it considering I can't play online for quite a while. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I will online. begin my training <laughs> regiment today. Uh, Gaff? What? Gaff? What? Anti Nazi high five. Oh my god. Like what? <laughs> Jubaka appreciates I mean, it. I mean, someone has to stop uh, Mecha Hitler. So. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> I wish this question was asked last week because the whole trip to the synagogue thing was perfect for my fellow Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was a perfect chance for TJ to redeem himself, but I didn't take it. <laughs> I said Jubaka thanks you. Yeah, what's, but... What's wrong with that? <laughs> what is wrong with that? I, love how I was supporting your anti-Hitler ways. And you took my olive branch and slapped it out of my hand. God. You Jewish At least I didn't slap it off your <laughs> balls. <laughs> At least I haven't sat on my balls. Oh. Dude. Shut up. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> Well, uh, now we gotta ask a question for the audience. By the way, people, seriously, if you listen to the podcast, take the time to answer it. Anything is a good answer. Well, literally, guys, except if you ask right for us to build their own selves. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so, are we setting on the question? All right. Okay. So, we usually go for the guests to ask for it. Uh, I mean, that's a, a thing we started, I guess, <laughs> maybe. So, now we have two guests. So, the two of you, please fight to the death and the survivor ask the question and hurry I'm, up. I, I'm totally cool with having two questions because I've already got one. Oh, no, 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 wait. Yeah, so do I. No, no, we hardly, get, we hardly get answers for one question. Hold on. Last week, Gaff did not ask a question. She allowed TJ to take her place. So, Go this Gaff. time, no escape for you, Gaff. Ask the question. I, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, Have okay. any of you... Shut up, Louise. Have any of you <laughs> belvedered yourself? That was my question too, so there we go. Have any of you dudes, I guess. No, I too. I, I'm, I'm wait, not sexist like how could you, Wait, wait, you completely strike out our entire female demographic. You gotta okay, need Gav, please please explain this. Guys, no, 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 I want to hear it. Gaff, can a lady belvedere herself? I don't know, can't she? I know, can't she? That's what I'm asking. Isn't the Everybody. definition of asking you? 
the definition and I'm you trying gave to us, deflect your question. <laughs> the definition you gave us earlier was sitting on one's own testicles. Testicles. Women don't have testicles, so I don't think they, they do can have boobs, though. So uh, is it like <laughs> sitting on your own boobs? How would you sit on well, them? Well, you can lie on your own boobs. Well, but that's lying. Can you sit on your own boobs? I will say, sometimes going on a rough roller coaster, can, that can give you a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just saying. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> Uh, the more you oh. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess we <laughs> we can wrap we should... it up then. <laughs> if, I feel like uh, there's a repeating cycle every time I come on. Somehow we talk about boobs. And uh, of course. Because you're the boob guy. I'm not Tyler, the boob, the boob guy. guy. <laughs> but you are the boob guy, Tyler. Is that going to be the thing now? Ty- or okay. so well, it's better than yes. Tyler, the freaked by boob guy. <laughs> oh god, it, it's not as catchy. It's great. Uh, Tyler does <laughs> roll with it and see how quickly that backfires. <laughs> and it may also give you a good reputation. You know, if people on the street start going like, "Hey, look, it's Tyler, the boob guy," and then you might leave ladies wondering, "Oh, why is he called the boob guy?" Ta-da! And then they will be sorely disappointed when they show him her when she shows him her boobs. And, and I just he's go, like, "You get it away!" No, that wouldn't actually happen if you did that in the streets. But I'm not condoning randomly approaching me in the streets and flashing me. That would probably why would be you not condone shopping. that? Whoa, dude, Are you not a man? It would be awesome, <laughs> yes. But then there is the possibility <laughs> of like some really gammy ass. No, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> and plus, you know me. I, I, I would be so awkward. I would just be like, uh, um, nice tits. And just walk on <laughs> like nothing happened. <laughs> like, I wouldn't do anything else. It would be the most awkward situation. But anyway, why have we made it about me? Just, I thought we were trying to wrap. Oh, yeah. Trying to so, shift the subject uh, away from it. Okay, then. Let's get you <laughs> away from the, the train. Wreck is coming. Uh, well, everyone, thank you so much for listening. Uh, thank you, Tyler and Gav, for being with us today. Mm-hmm. It was a pleasure having you. And don't Thanks. forget, visit our page on RT or Twitter and ask us questions, answer our questions, leave feedback, whatever. You know, we love to also, hear from you. Also, I have a uh, request. You guys out there, the very few of you that are, are dedicated listeners, Need to tell your friends to stop being assholes and watch us. Oh, yeah. But don't call them assholes. Yeah, let, that let, yeah, yeah. Don't, let them listen don't to the podcast and let us call them assholes. And, uh, Only on this particular episode just now. <laughs> yes, no, but right seriously, now. Seriously, advertise it. Tell your, your parents and your artsy friends and your uh, school friends and your girlfriends and boyfriends and goats to listen yes. to us. Yes. Goats. Tell the oh, goats. That reminds me, I've got one goat we, we, I can tell. We, we yes. need Luis to get his goat cult up. Oh yeah, don't worry. Uh, there's actually a meeting next week and we're gonna like milk some goats, sacrifice some other goats, and then we're gonna listen to the podcast up until now. It's gonna yeah. Be- Population attendance is kind of going down since every meeting he sacrifices like three goats and they only get one yeah. in return. <laughs> anyway, on that note, That's I guess creepy. we're done. Anyway, thank you so much for listening, <laughs> and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. 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 Tits. Tits. What? Wee wee. Tits. Okay, we're done. We're done. I can't find the button. <laughs> Get out of it. I found oh it. My God. Get out okay, of we're done. We're, we're, we're actually done. This podcast intro and outro music is provided to us by TDB Tyler. You can find him on Rooster Teeth by searching for his name, T-D-B, Tyler, and looking for his group, O the Comanity, spelled O-H, exclamation point, T-H-E-C-O-M-M-A-N-A-T-E-E. You can also find more of his work on YouTube by searching for his channels, The Dropped Banana, all one word, and O the Comanity.